going to talk about the new um, version of Mark Edit 7 and how you run it on a Linux box. Uh, there's a handful of known issues. Uh, some of these are related, most are related to how the UI draws things. Um, it mainly shows up on the front page. I'm trying to see if I can't figure out what's going on, otherwise I'll have to mitigate it by maybe making the home page static uh, for Linux builds, but I'm going to see what I can do to work around it. Uh, I'll show you how you can avoid some of it. Um, also, uh, the installer hopefully is going to be a little easier. There actually is kind of an installer for Linux. Uh, so if you go to the downloads page, there's now a Linux build. Click on this, it'll tell you that the Linux downloader has been it's a self-contained installer created by Mixel. Um, we have a uh, way to run it. Um, unfortunately, the it should be two dashes on target. Um, I'll show you the, the thing um, in a minute. Uh, for some reason, when this saves, it turns my single dashes into my double dashes into single dashes. I'll see if I can update that um, in the HTML code. Uh, anyway, so you want to download it. Um, you need to have Mono installed. Uh, I'm going to assume that you already have it. You have to install it using the complete version of the application. So we'll go ahead and download this to my desktop, or to my downloads directory. It's a pretty good size download. It's about 50 megabytes. Um, and that is compressed. Uh, so we'll go ahead and download uh, this file. And while it's downloading, I'm going to go ahead and open a terminal. waiting for me while it's downloading. Just about done. I'm going to get my terminal ready and go to my downloads directory. Alright, so we can see the downloads completed. It's 50.1 megabytes. So I'm done with this. I'm going to get rid of that and go back to my terminal. Uh, so let's see here. So we can find the file uh, markedit7.run. That's the file we just downloaded. All right, so we need to make it executable. All right, so make it executable. Now we'll go ahead and run it. Um, if you target a specific directory, um, you can use the uh, uh, target um, option. Otherwise, uh, the tool will um, just extract the data into whatever folder you're in. So I'm going to go ahead and target the desktop. Um, I could just copy it to the desktop and run it, or I can use the target directory. If you need to see exactly what the parameters are, um, you can go ahead and check uh, here, and it'll give you the options for running the directory here. So I'm going to go ahead and target it. So mark it at 7 run. Target, put it on my desktop, and look at it. So, and there we go. So, it's going ahead and creating the folder, and you'll see that it creates an icon at the end. So, that's it. Uh, now, we should be able to run the application as long as the mono is installed. It's created a shortcut. Uh, the program will go through the same. Uh, wizards, so we can go through the wizard here. Um, it won't download uh, the default font for you like it does on Windows. Instead, it will take you to the downloads page. Um, I did that partly because you really, on a Linux machine, need to download the actual fonts. Here's the no two fonts themselves um, and install them into the system. Um, running the private fonts doesn't seem to work well. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep going. Done, done. I don't have any data on this, so there's none to migrate, and we're done. Happy editing. Uh, the program reboots. And here we go, we've got the program set up here. Um, if we look at this, you can see that there's data that's not right. Um, so we can rearrange uh, the data in the editor. Uh, and that will help to mitigate some of this. Uh, so if you were using, for example, this one, and let's say this one, and the clustering tools, then when it reboots, um, you can see that 
the screen uh, gets corrected a little bit. I'm not sure why that's the case. Still trying to figure it out, um, but you'll see that it works relatively well. So um, that's the uh, the update. Hopefully, um, you'll see that this uh, works well for you. Um, if you run into any problems, you can let me know, and uh, I will try and keep these um, synchronized as I, I go forward. And if you run into any more gotchas, let me know. Oh, and the last thing, um, in Mark Edit 6, you used to have to futz around with um, getting Yaz to work. Uh, the program goes ahead and includes it by default. And I believe I reset the Go ahead and try and query it as long as the database is right it is so you notice we didn't have to install yes in fact it's not installed on this direct on this machine um, but i went ahead and built a, a generic linux um uh, yes uh, uh components with a shared library that i could use um have it really simple basically turn most of the functionality off because i don't need it so hopefully that makes your linux uh working on linux a little bit easier um and uh that this will uh, uh, you know, I'll work on um, getting the Mac version done, done next.